So let's imagine we want to record some of our own tracks. Uh, we want to put in our own loops, we want to put in our own tracks, record our guitar or anything else into this arrangement. So let's see how simple that is to do in Ableton. So let's start off by creating a new audio track. So to do that, we're going to go create and put insert audio track. We can also do a MIDI track if we want to capture a MIDI instrument. But for this instance, I'm just going to do an audio track. You can see that's dropped a track there. It's actually put it too high, so I'm just going to click it and drag it down so it's at the bottom. There we go. And then I'm going to go Command R and I'm going to type in here the name of that track. So for me, that's going to be Claps. Then I'm going to tell Ableton where to take that audio source from. So if I drop down here, you can see that I've got some audio options. So I'm going to do external in and one and two. That's just using the internal microphone here on um, the laptop. If I wanted to use a Firewire um, or USB audio interface or some other device, I can go into preferences and I can go to input device and I can tell it where to take that audio from. Same as when we told it how to route the audio in an earlier video. Brilliant, so we're nearly ready to go. We come down here now, uh, we're going to turn the monitoring off just so we don't get any feedback. I've plugged in some headphones so you can't hear the rest of the tracks that won't record on the same line. I'm going to arm the track to record. I'm going to click stop to take it back to the beginning. Then I'm going to click record. I'm going to put the metronome on as well just so I can hear that. And then I'm going to press play. So that's now playing the track in my ear and I'm talking along. I can hear the click, I can hear all the rest of the track. And I'm talking along and you can see that my vocal is being recorded down here. It would do the same if it was a guitar. It would do the same if it was a uh, microphone or any other instrument. And then I'm going to stop now and hit space. There we go. So I've actually recorded um, some audio in here. And like I said, that could have been guitar plugged in. It could have been a vocal. It could have been um, me playing any instrument really where so I can capture it through um, either a microphone socket or an audio input or anything else. So let's go back and listen to that. Let's just click. Back to the beginning, take the record off, take my headphones out, please. I'm playing the track in my ear, and I'm talking a lot. I can hear the click, I can hear all the rest of the track. And I'm joining. Going to turn that off, turn it back on. Great, so that gives you an idea of how easy that is to do. I could, as I said earlier, go into line devices and put some reverb on that, put some delay, some gate, really have a play around with some of the devices should I choose to. Okay, so that's how easy it is to record audio. Let's see how it is to insert something that's already been recorded. So let's create another audio track. Um, and then this time I'm going to rename that one and call it Drum Loop. And I'm going to put this in for You Alone Can Rescue. So let's go to You Alone Can Rescue. And in the chorus of You Alone Can Rescue, I want to add in a different drum sample. So I'm going to turn off some of the track just to make it easier to hear what I'm going to do. Turn the shaker off and the click off. And then I'm going to navigate to my desktop. And on my desktop, I've got a folder called Filter Drums. And if I go in there, I've got a load of WAV files in different time signatures. And I can click over here, and you can see that it's playing. I can cue that. That'll do. So I'm going to take that one, and I'm simply going to drag it to the start of the chorus. So I'm going to drag it here onto my drum loop channel, and I'm going to let go at the start of my chorus. Now you can see that's automatically warped it, but it's warped it to the wrong time. I actually want it warped to the same as You Alone Can Rescue, which is 76. So I'm going to go in here, into this box, I'm going to type in 76, I'm going to hit enter. And you can see that it's now moved some of the wave files and downstrokes closer to the beginning of the line. Still not perfect, but good enough for now, so let's have a listen. So let's have a listen just here. And here comes my drum loop. It's very difficult to hear that with everything else going on. So let's turn off um, the guitar and the electric for now, just so you can hear what I've done. And let's raise the gain on that and take it back to the beginning of the chorus. So there's my drum loop. Great, and then let's on solo that so you can hear it with everything else. You alone can rescue, you alone can save. You alone can lift us from the grave. And let's play that one more time. You alone can rescue. You alone can save. You alone can lift us from the grave. And so on. It's a really easy way of just being able to play around with the arrangement. I could set that to drop all the other tracks out apart from the vocals and just have that drum loop going in or anything else I choose. 
It's a really simple way of just being able to record your own audio or insert any other file that you've already got. And again, if this is a different time signature, I can manipulate that. If it was key, I can manipulate that to make my own loops fit in with what we're playing already in Ableton. Hope that helps. Again, this is just some tools for you to go and be creative and come up with your own arrangements and have a load of fun using some of Ableton. God bless. Take care.